Let's take a look at beam reinforcement as well as beam reinforcement schedules that can be created here using CSI CrossCAD. As you can see here, the beam callouts and reinforcement are being shown on this elevation 1B7. You can see the size of rebar and spacing are all shown here in the beam elevation. But what if I wanted to create a beam or column schedule? So why don't we create a new sheet? You can see the last sheet created is S37. We'll create a sheet, and this one we'll call it S38. Now that the sheet has been created, we can go to Schedule, Create. Uh, let's do the concrete columns first. Now here's the concrete column schedule form. I can ask it to select all the columns and whether to include seismic or non-seismic concrete column reinforcement elevations. So the concrete column schedule is located here on the left. Here are some typical concrete column elevation for both seismic and non-seismic. Now you can see here that there are concrete columns only located in the bottom level. So I can make edits to the concrete column schedule. By selecting edit, clicking on the schedule, now the edit column schedule form is being displayed. I'll deselect these story levels, leaving just the basement. And now you can see that concrete column schedule has been updated. We can create another sheet, we'll call this S39, and on this sheet we'll include the concrete beam schedule. Now I have the choice to select seismic beams, uh, lateral beam marks, and typical concrete reinforcement elevations. So you can see I'll zoom into the beam schedule. It's quite large for all the different beam IDs, longitudinal bars, stirrups, span length, and section size are all included for width and depth as well. And there's your typical beam reinforcement down here. Let me talk about another feature included in CSI CrossCAD. I'm going to go to the second floor. So we're going back to the composite beam. You can see them being shown in plan here. But what if I'd made changes in ETABs and wanted to import those changes into my drawings? So if we open up ETABs here, I'm going to run the concrete composite beam design one more time, and any changes that have been made can be automatically imported into my drawings. Okay, composite beam design has been run. I'll go back to my plan view, and under CSI CrossCAD project, I can compare to design model. Okay, now it's reading the changes that have been made in ETABs, identifying the changes, and it will give me a list here on the left-hand side. These are all the changes that were made. So what I can do is simply select all of them, click design, and now you can see the changes have been made. Previously, in this plan, the number of studs and the camber were not available, and it changed a few sections, as you can see.